Please don't throw items at this truck. Thank you. Oh, but now I want to. Let's play Please Don't Litter. Hello and welcome to Hula New Place Short in your game. Today I'm playing another game by Ken Forrest. Who did... Wait, what did he do? What did I play? Oh yeah, Lida X, which was amazing. That was so cool. And this also has like a weird premise, which I love. I love horror games that have like not the usual premise. I also love horror games that have the usual promise, uh, premise. But it's also nice whenever you have something like this, which is in one of the cities... <laughs> In one of the cities, you know the one. A certain anomaly has appeared, which every 10 seconds will spawn tons of garbage because of what the city turned into a dump. You work as a garbage collector, your task is to collect garbage and recycle it. It's a horror game. It's amazing. Like, I read this and I'm like, okay, I gotta know what this is about. So, uh, yeah, without further ado, let's just, you know, get into it and, and clean up the streets. Like, also, I'm totally for it, you know, when it comes to the main message, because I also, I don't litter, and I hate it when people do it. Alright, guess who didn't record? So I kind of know how it works now, which is really good, because I was really bad at grasping what to do. <laughs> A few years ago, an anomalous object appeared in one of the cities. He looked like a big timer. Whatever that means. Every 10 seconds it generates tons of garbage. Because of this, the inhabitants of the city had to be evacuated. A few months later, the city turned into a dump. In order not to completely litter the whole world, they began to hire garbage collectors. Garbage collectors work almost all night and hardly get paid. Which is what I don't get, because even nowadays, garbage collectors... You know, they don't get an amazing amount of money, but I think they're better paid than a lot of other people in the service industry. Um, you are one of the garbage collectors. Well, I figured that, because, you know... Because I'm smart, no. <laughs> All right, hold. Can I, can I get it? Can we, can we, blop? No! Okay, let's try this again. Ah, oh, come on. I, I really wanna, I wanna, I wanna get this, come on. Cut, cut, cut. It's very awkward holding it. No. No. Very no, I, I won't get it. I'm sorry. So I can grab this. So what I did initially was just throw it in the in this in these trash cans, but that's a lie. That's a lie. It's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to throw the trash in this thing and the trash bags. Yeah, in this thing. So, you have the advantage, well, maybe, of me not screwing around so much. So much. Also, I don't think this is an efficient system. Like, why wouldn't you invent or build, like, machines that act as, like, funnels, you know? That basically traverse the trash. Like, I mean, I'm in the middle of trash heaps, and I put this there. What does it do? There, I don't really see... I don't see it. Wait, I, I, I did that. There we go. Also, I tried to put one of these big things in there, and then it just blocked everything else. So, I'm not doing that again. What's that? Probably a water bottle. Looked like a weird worm. Look at this. Or a very sad... Well, I'm not going to say what I mean. Some of you will get it. The ones with the dirty minds. <laughs> nope. Here you go. And I will leave this to nine. And then I will get the... Hey! Trash bags ready. This is such a shitty job. It really is. Knowing that I don't get paid that well makes it even worse. You know, sometimes it's okay to have like a shit job if you- wait, didn't I put four in there? There's four in there! Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't mind me. <laughs> I 
Uh, maybe that's why I don't get paid that much. Maybe my colleagues actually get, like, maybe it's just me not getting paid that much. Because, you know, I'm not really good at my job. Ugh. Like, do I at least have a nice outfit? This would be, or, you know, I should have, like, a little car with, like, one of those things where you push stuff. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. It really doesn't. Hey, where did that come from? Blap. Okay. What's that? Is that a good thing? Hi. Take me with you. No, I wanna... Can I jump? Could I leave? <laughs> with that? <laughs> oh. Will there be an ending to this game? Or is this just me? Oh. Oh my god. Who are you? You might... I'm sorry, the outfit. No. I don't like you. This is... No. You must be a garbage collector, right? Yes. I help people like you. Do you want to get out of here? I don't know, you look suspicious. Like, I would want to get out of here, but I don't know if... You look like... You look like a tech billionaire. And I don't want to... I don't want to. I know how to get out of here. You must fill the container for the drone to return. And we flew away with him. Let me know when you fill the container. Wouldn't you know? Because you're sitting on top of the container. Like... Also... Uh... With what though? You're kinda in the way, dude. Oh god, this is... Also, why does it jump like a ball? There you go. Does this magic... No. Huh. I get it. So filling this will create... Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, 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 there you go. Number one. Number two. I think garbage collectors have a lot of stories to tell. And I think I weirdly already talked about this because, believe it or not, I played another game, a horror game, with a garbage collector. Which was completely different, you know, um, but yeah. So apparently it, I, I mean, once there's two games, it's officially a subgenre, right? <laughs> you know, you could help me. Oh well. But they never do, those tech billionaires. They just talk a big game, and that is it. Nothing. Um, that would be really helpful. Even when they help, it's just, it makes everything more inconvenient. And no, I'm not talking about a certain someone who just bought a big social media platform. No, why would I? It's just hypothetical, you know. And please don't write not all billionaires in the comments. Unless it's like ironic. Okay. But the throwing, that's fun. I like that. Don't even have to go next to that stinking trash. I just can't stand here next to this stinking trash. I hope I have gloves on with all the with all the glass. Go blop. Getting... Oh no! Just wanted to say I'm getting into the rhythm. And then I didn't. But yeah, like... Whoever planned this and organized this... Did a horrible job. This is not how you... Solve this crisis. I love the look of the skyscrapers. Like that... They're basically broken up. 
It's really cool. Cool, cool, cool. So what would... Why would an alien thing... Maybe it's their trash? Or it's... Oh my god. Maybe it's humanity. From the future. And they just dump their trash in the past. Because who cares? Like, doing something... Well, no way. That could change their future. Hmm. Maybe they dump it in the future? No, but that would make... So it's probably aliens just dumping their trash. But they have weirdly similar trash to us. Hey, I'm done. Let's get out of here. I'm sitting... Oh, yeah. To the... Oh, that's a haircut. I thought that was a weird, like, hat. Don't know if that's... Better or worse. I'm kind of scared. I'm not quite sure this is a good idea. But you seem really calm. Whoa, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Motion sickness. <laughs> Oh wow. So, somewhere in the dump there's a train on which you can safely leave here. On it the guards will not notice you. Okay. I know one person will help you get to him. He lives somewhere in the garbage unloading area. Unfortunately, you will have to go to him alone. I won't be able to go with you. Why not? Oh, we went through the ferris wheel. Cool, cool. Get ready to jump. How do I do it? Whoa! Oof. I didn't expect to, like, to have a proper story here. I thought, you know, I would do stuff and then something creepy would happen. I'm sorry, but I can't keep walking with you. You never walked with me. You just sat there. Good luck getting out of the stump. I mean, thanks for the tip, but honestly, before you were arriving, I was trying to get on this. So it's just the game design that hindered me from doing this. Yeah, it's, it's, it is what it is. Is that the train? So I have to look for someone. Wow, it's a big area. He could have told me their name. Oh, now it looks like... Um, Good lord. Please don't throw items at this truck. Thank you. Oh, but now I want to. Maybe I have to? Let's just do it. Screw the rules. Oh! No! You haven't recycled! Do I have to start from the very beginning? No, okay, this is nice. Uh, okay. So the per I thought the person was in the truck, you know, and throwing it would like basically activate it. Oh, there, there they are. Or not? Locked. How do I open? I mean, I could just limbo under it. Come on. I cannot crouch. It's ridiculous. I kind of think I have to throw this. So this is running. Okay. Oh... my cat just I don't know what she did a lot of stuff down oh both my cats good lord 
I don't know what to do. I have to look it up. I'm sorry. This is taking too long. Oh my god. Okay. I think I have it, but I don't like it. I don't like it. I had the right idea. I guess I have to throw trash at it. Sorry, sorry, that was an annoying... No! <laughs> no! Oh, no, I don't like it. Oh. No! game I think it's like five five objects too much to be fun and the grabbing is awkward I don't like it like no I'm, I'm annoyed I'm annoyed Jesus fucking Christ. Jesus. So what now? What is this shit? What do I get out of it? Nothing. Oh. Is this is oh my god, this is open now. Okay. Well, I hope I don't have to do this again because honestly then I'm done. I should have done this from the get-go, like just collected a lot of heaps and then, you know, at the beginning when it's going up. Hi there! Oh, you have a little duck? Wait, it's the same duck as in Lidar. That's funny. That's cute. I love you. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, hi. Ooh. Hey, I take it you want to get out of this junkyard? Yes, I died like five times. There's an abandoned station not far away. It has no security. So you can safely leave here by train. The problem is, you have to swim across the river to get there. I'll lend you a boat if you help me. Fill the four containers to my left. Put each type of garbage in its own container. Uh, okay. Let's see. Oh my god. It's, it's like, oh my god, we're doing recycling. You do know that most of recycling just goes in the same trash heap. You know, at the trash factor factory. It's not... They are not factories. But yeah, recycling is a big, big ol' lie. I think glass is fine and paper. But, uh, uh... Especially like the one where it says it can be recycled, a lot of it is just burned. <laughs> At least here in Germany, like... And I think I read that it's pretty much the same or else. Like compost, paper, and glass. That's the three, the holy trinity of recycle material that is worth it. So. Come on, come on. There you go. Classic. That's, um, hi. If this wouldn't be, I, I wish this were not as awkward. I, I wish we could just click and then pick it up automatically and not have to hold it. Because, I don't know, it's a little bit... Uh, uh, uh. Did the goose just clean itself up? That's cute. <laughs> I'm 
man, I thought this was like 10 minutes. Other people, like I, always, I sometimes check the length by clicking on other let's plays on the itch page and it said like 10, 15 minutes. Oh, as usual, as usual. Okay, I don't have, I, I, I really hope I don't have to fight any weirdo car anymore. I don't know if I could do it. Also, I'm getting a little bit motion sickness with the way it moves, so... Uh, I'm starting to not, well, not starting. I'm in the middle of not enjoying myself as much as I did at the beginning. The same here as I had the I have the same issue here as with the car. It's a bit too much, you know. Um, like I would have put three items because this is just tedious. It's tedious, and maybe that's the point, you know, because yeah, recycling is tedious. But I don't know. At the end of the day, you know, it's a horror game to entertain people. So. There you go. Oh, thank you very much. You can take the boat. Good luck getting out of this dump. I mean, you look like you, you have it made, you know. That's the boat? Okay. So where's the train? Huh. There it is. Man, what a dumb. <laughs> the game was made by Ken Forrest in 72 hours for Ludum Dare 51. Thanks for playing. Yeah, well, I mean, in 72 hours, that's pretty cool. I still think some of the, like, the, the numbers of the stuff you have to recycle, as well as the number of times you have to hit the car, it's not really dependent on the, the amount of time for the development. But in itself, I like the concept. I'm not quite sure I would... Well, it, it was kind of a horror game because of the chase scene, I guess. Um... Yeah, I'll allow it, I'll allow it. It is, yeah, I allow it. Um, no, I enjoyed the environment. I think that is really atmospheric. And uh, the story, I don't know. It's one of those stories where I feel like I would have liked a bit more information on it. Because just, like, I, either more or less information. To just have, like, to live in a world where just dumb falls from the skies... No, I think I'm okay with the story. I think it's just that it is so interesting that I would like to know more. And I have to keep in mind this was done in 72 hours, so of course, you know, there will not be a whole, like... Lord of the Rings, you know, <laughs> amount of backstory and characterization and songs and a different language. So yeah, I really enjoyed this. I still think Lida was more effective when it comes to the scares. But I really do appreciate it when developers try something new and um, yeah, uh, Ken really did it. Uh, although I was close to rage quitting. I was very close to rage quitting. I just hate leaving games unfinished when I know there might be more story uh, to be had. But um, yeah, I did not enjoy that part as much. But, but that's a me thing because I generally don't like this stuff, um, especially when I have to like do this over and over and over again. You know, I like the rule of three when it comes to that, or at most the rule of five, you know, but more than that, I think it's over, it's, just, it's overdone, but yeah, how did you like this game, um, what do you think, well, we know what happened, but was it aliens dumping their trash, like, why would this happen, or is it maybe like, oh my god, are those aliens trying to teach us a lesson, well, like, this is what you did, this is your trash, Ugh, that would be like, so condescending <laughs> anyways 
If you're new to this channel, also, you're free to subscribe. I play a lot of short-ish horror games. Recently, um, it's been a few longer ones. I try to um, yeah mix it up. But in general, more the indie horror games. Very rarely some of the bigger developers, because I just I love the creativity and the uniqueness of indie games in general. So if you enjoyed this, uh, despite my little anger fit in the middle of the game, then, you know, subscribe. And I promise you... If I will help you out to get you know out of this place, I will help you. I will not just sit there um, and then even have the audacity to lie and say I will not walk with you further because I never walked with you in the first place. No, I will help you get the trash done and everything so we can get out of this stupid place earlier, you know, sooner. The sooner the better. Although, where does the train lead? Maybe out of the... And here's the thing, why just this dump city? Oh, so many questions. If you have the answers, you know, also, yeah, subscribe and comment. <laughs> Either or and or whatever you like. I hope you had a good time. I hope you have a wonderful day and maybe see you soon. Bye! I forgot to sing. Well, next time. Bye bye! This is my self recorded outro song so I don't get hit with copyright claims. If you subscribe, you subscribe to a lot of fun tutorials, reviews, and let's plays.